Hello everyone, Logan Kaiser here, sitting in this coniferous forest of pretty much all middle-aged Douglas fir. So this is a big tree replant and you know it kind of made it so dense that there's pretty much no understory besides some pretty good mushrooms around here. So right here I have some Hydenum umbilicatum. So big distinguishing characteristic of this, those spines underneath the gills. So these are the gills here where uh, the spores are dispersed. And with the Hydenum species, it has spines. And so Hydenum umbilicatum, here we have this nice tan kind of orangish cap. And umbilicatum is kind of like, uh, uh, umbilicatum like is referring to like this kind of belly button nature of it. It's almost like there's a little belly button right there. You can kind of stick your finger in. I, I hate having my finger in my belly button. My girlfriend filming knows that. <laughs> <laughs> so out here, we just came off of a pretty crazy winter ice storm. This is like a few days after this whole area was just covered in ice. And it's pretty awesome here in, what is it, January 20th, we are still finding edible mushrooms. I have a pretty good sized bag here. And there are a few more hedgehogs over here. And you'll find other Hydenum species out there. This is the Hydenum umbilicatum, like I mentioned. There's also Hydenum rapadnum and a few other species you'll find around the Pacific Northwest as well as other parts. And another wonderful edible mushroom we find during the winter time is over here we got some uh, what we call winter chanterelles, or I always call them yellow feet. So here you can kind of see this one's a little bit small here. I'll grab a little bit larger one so you can see. Oh, so it's good to, when you're trying to identify mushrooms to find a really mature one like this. This one's very mature. Look at the gills and the way that they branch and move around. And that very distinct yellowish, kind of orangish color to the stipe or the stem. And here's a smaller one, young one. And so when you're trying to identify mushrooms, good to Look at the top, similar to the Hydenum umbilicatum, is we got a little kind of belly button there. So the Latin name for these yellow feet or winter chanterelles is Craterellus tubiformis, which is a wonderful Latin name. I like it when they give things really nice Latin names because sometimes you get Latin names that don't have anything to do with the distinguishing characteristics. But this one, it's literally like a hollow tube. I pull off this and it's a tube in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can see you guys through this little tube. <laughs> I'm currently seeing you guys through a mushroom tube. Craterellus tubiformis. Great Latin name. And you can also remember, too, because it's like a little crater in there in that little belly button. The Craterellus tubiformis. And I think I'm going to have to go around... Um, I think my plan for these hedgehogs is to do some pickling. Uh, these mushrooms are quite excellent pickled. Do a nice dry fry, throw them some pickle juice, and we'll have some nice tasty treats for later. Signing out.